Hello, I'm Ross Exton, and today we've come to the planetarium to show you how to track down the constellation of Orion. He's easiest to find by looking in a southerly direction for his famous belt, three stars close together in a straight line. And according to the Greek legend, Orion was a mighty hunter, so he was very strong, but not that smart, which is why his head is this collection of dim stars. He has two strong shoulders, Betelgeuse, meaning armpit of the giant, which holds a club above his head, and Bellatrix, meaning warrior, which holds a bearskin. He also has two legs, Rigel and Scythe. From Orion's belt, we can draw a line down to the left to find the brightest star in the night sky, Sirius. If we go up to the right, we come to Aldebaran, the red eye of Taurus the bull. If you look beneath Orion's belt, you might be able to see a faint fuzzy blob. This is the Orion Nebula. By using a pair of binoculars from a dark sky site, you will get a view something like this. Nebulae are vast clouds of gas and dust, and some of these are star-forming regions. The Orion Nebula contains around 700 stars surrounded by glowing pink hydrogen gas. When enough of this material is drawn together by gravity, it will collapse down and form a new star. These stars are very young, only a few million years old. This might sound like an extremely long time to me and you, but in star terms, they are only babies. As a young star begins nuclear fusion, converting hydrogen into helium, Powerful telescopes may be able to reveal a rapidly spinning disk of gas and dust that surrounds the star, called a protoplanetary disk. These are solar systems forming as material gathers to make planets. This is how our solar system would have formed about four and a half billion years ago. So best of luck with your stargazing. If you'd like any more information on the constellations and other amazing objects that you can find in the night sky, then why not join us in the planetarium or download the latest free night sky guide. This is our... <laughs>